This is soaked quinoa. All it is is quinoa soaked overnight or for a few hours and then sprouted for about 12 hours. And another version of sprout, sprouted quinoa is just to soak it for four hours and drain it and it's germinated enough that you can use it in a recipe. And today we're going to be making some uh, a nice version of raw tabbouleh. For those who love tabbouleh, you're going to love this salad. Okay, here are the ingredients that I'm going to put into the sprouted quinoa. This right here is very thinly sliced and chopped up dried tomato. There's about five, six of them, five or six dried tomatoes. Right next to it is about a half a cup of chopped fresh tomatoes. And then right here is finely chopped, about a half a cup of finely chopped um, cucumber. And then these two little piles here are red onion and green onion. I'm not a, I'm not big on onions, but I love how the flavor that it adds. Um, but you you can put more of that in if you would like if you really like onion. And then right here in the corner is um, about a tablespoon of finely chopped fresh mint, and all of this is going to go into the quinoa, the sprouted quinoa. And with it, for a dressing, we'll go about, this is about four tablespoons of olive oil and about the same of lemon juice. So I'm going to go ahead and throw this all in together and mix it and let's see what it looks like. One of the reasons I love working with raw food is all the colors. Doesn't that look yummy? All I did was throw that all on top of the quinoa. It's not mixed yet, but I wanted to show you what it looked like before I mixed it because it's so colorful and so pretty and it almost and it looks delicious already. So let's go ahead and um, toss it and mix it up. Here it is, all mixed up and ready to put in the refrigerator for a few hours so that the flavors can um, marinate and make this a very yummy salad. Now you can adjust this to any ingredients that you would like to adjust it to. Um, some some might, make, might like more of the tomatoes or more of the cucumbers. You can make it any way you like. And um, I'm personally, I'm going to add a little bit more olive oil to this because I like, I like to taste my dressing. I'm a dressing and a condiment person, so I'm going to add a little bit more olive oil and probably throw in some sesame seeds. Um, for now, I'm going to put this in the refrigerator and enjoy it a little bit later in the day. This is a nice light salad, a good summer salad.